What's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here with The Single Guy Channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about that dreaded conversation that I'm sure all of you are scared of. Uh, and that's when you're out alone with a girl, maybe you're in bed, maybe you're just chilling out, relaxing, whatever it is, she rolls over and she says, so, what are we? And if you're like me, when I was 23, you have a mini panic attack and try and think of a lie that she's gonna believe as fast as possible to keep her around where you don't have to have this talk anymore, okay? That's exactly what you should not do, <laughs> okay? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you should answer this question and I'm gonna do it through telling you two stories. One story where I handled this conversation very well and the other, not so much, okay? Uh, and hopefully from hearing these two stories, you guys are gonna get an understanding about how you can avoid this conversation altogether because in reality, although talking and communication is good, if she busts out this question, you probably messed up somewhere along the line or somewhere before that led you to this point where now she's looking at you and expecting a for sure answer. Okay, uh, so let's get into the first story. So the first story that I'm going to tell you uh, is where I didn't handle this well at all. I remember I was like, I think I was 24, something like that, 24, 23. And, um, you know, I was living in San Francisco at the time and I was seeing this girl. It was going really well. I was really attracted to her. I think I'd been seeing her for maybe a month or two probably two months, uh, and I remember we were in bed. We were in bed, we were talking, we had just had sex, and I was relaxed, I was at ease, I was having a good time, um, and then she rolled over and busted out this question. Now, when I heard this question, uh, at first I was like, oh shit, this is, the, this is the thing, this is the thing. I thought this was gonna happen, but I thought I could avoid it, and I did all the wrong things when uh, I answered this question. I told her that, hey, I really liked her, um, that I was thinking about a relationship, but I just wasn't ready right now, blah, 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 blah. Basically, I made it seem like I was going to possibly consider being in a relationship with her later, okay? And we were on, on track to do that, but I was just having some emotional issues that I had to get through. As soon as we get through this emotion, uh, these emotional issues, um, we'll be able to be together. In reality, what was the truth? I didn't have any of those emotional issues, okay? I, or even if I did, uh, the answer was still gonna be the same. I knew I didn't wanna be with this girl. I knew I didn't wanna be with any girl in a committed relationship. Uh, but when she looked at me, I knew that's kind of what she wanted. And sometimes when the girl asks this question, you know, there's a very small probability that she is, just wants to make sure that we're seeing each other casually. Probably not. If she stares at you and you're worried about what you're gonna say next, uh, almost 99% of the time, it's cause she wants something more than what she's getting and you're not giving it to her. So when you encounter this problem, uh, a lot of times guys will tend to do what I did. They lie, they make it seem like in the future, uh, there's a possibility that you two can be together in some sort of committed, possibly monogamous, probably monogamous relationship, uh, which is what she's looking for. And we do it for a lot of reasons. Uh, the first reason that we do it, and most of the people who are watching this video probably are, are in this boat, it's not that the guy's a horrible person, although he's doing a bad thing, and it's because we don't, like, at the time, I just really didn't want to upset her. Like, that was my main goal at the moment, is like, don't make her upset. And because of that, because of my fear of upsetting her, I ended up doing a bad thing, a thing that I probably wouldn't have done if I could go back in time and do it over again, okay? So, for me in that moment, I, I was mostly concerned about not upsetting her. And the second thing, too, was I wanted to keep hooking up with her, you know? It was nice to have to have her there. I liked her. I, I did enjoy spending time with her. I did want to keep seeing her. Did I, did I like her enough to be monogamous with her? No. I don't think I liked any girl enough at that point to be monogamous with them. And so, rather than me being truthful, I said what I thought she wanted to hear so we could either postpone this conversation or I wouldn't have to deal with it in the future. But it would have been a lot better if I had handled it the way I handled this next situation. Actually, uh, there, was a, there was another time where, I'll tell you two moments where I did it correctly, okay? There was one time where I was seeing a stripper and, uh, I think we had been hooking up for like three months and then I was like, we should probably have the talk right now. So I just kind of rolled over and I was like, hey, uh, I just wanted to talk to you for a second. And she's like, okay, cool. And I was like, hey, listen, um, I, I like where things are right now and I really like enjoying getting to know you and spending time with you, but I'm just not really ready to get into like a committed relationship or anything like that. And she looked at me and she goes, okay, cool. 
yeah, I'm not very good about being monogamous either. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, I suck at being monogamous. And I was like, I suck at being monogamous too. We high-fived, had sex again. Dopest talk ever. <laughs> That's probably not going to happen to you guys, okay? What in reality is probably going to happen is the way it went down uh, in this other instance um, where I'd been seeing this girl around two months, two months at that point, um, and we were just kind of walking and chilling with each other. Uh, and then I actually brought up the conversation. I said, uh, hey, listen, like, how do you think things are going between the two of us? And she was like, um, I don't know. They're going okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm having fun. And I'm like, cool, yeah, I'm having fun too. Uh, I, I just don't know if I'm ready to take that next step. And then I started, t I started telling her, and then she was like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm not like, she cut me off. She's like, don't worry about it. I'm not, you know, I'm not interested in that. I'm not. Uh, I, I don't see you in that way. Uh, don't worry. I don't want you to be my boyfriend. And I was like, whew, thank God. But it wasn't really a sigh of relief so much because I kind of knew she was gonna say that. Um, and, and the truth is, that's kind of how the conversation should go down. Like, it shouldn't be a big shock for the girl to hear that you're not trying to be in a monogamous relationship or you're not trying to be in a committed relationship. Basically, my actions were completely in line with what I was looking for. This girl knew I wasn't looking for a girlfriend. This girl, in both instances, you know, obviously, you know, with the stripper, it's a little different, but in both these instances, neither of them expected me to be in a relationship. Okay, and because of that, the talk was so much easier. So if you're behaving before you have this talk in a manner that's trying to make the girl believe that you're gonna be with her, that you like love her or something like that, God forbid, well, you've already messed up. And so in these situations, what you need to do is you need to realize, pay attention to your actions, with the messages that you're trying to send to her. If, if you're sending her messages where it's like, okay, this is in boyfriend territory, like you're seeing her two to three times a week, maybe more, you're talking to her every single day, you're sending her hearts all the time, you're getting jealous, like all of these things, that's for, that's for committed relationship talk. That's, that's not for being in like a casual whatever that you're, that you're looking for right now, where you two are just you know, seeing each other and having fun. Um, or maybe just seeing each other and not being committed, but you still really, really enjoy each other. So the things that you have to make sure that you do when you have this talk is, number one, make sure that she knows that you're listening to her. Make sure she knows that her thoughts and her feelings matter. If they don't, you just, if you just try and brush it off, like, ah, oh, whatever, it's not a big deal, don't worry about it, like, that's just gonna cause problems in the long term. Like, it might actually stop the conversation in the moment, but you know, that's when girls start getting really pissed at you and they, they start really not liking you. And with this first girl, that's exactly what happened. Like we don't talk anymore. And I wish I could say she was a part of my life or a positive uh, you know, moment in my life, but unfortunately it didn't end very well with her. So make sure that her thoughts and feelings and emotions are important to you. And if they are, sometimes you're gonna have to tell her an answer that she doesn't like. She might be upset with the answer you give her. You might tell her, hey, listen, look, I really enjoy hanging out with you. I really enjoy the time that we have. I mean, you're an amazing person, but I'm not really looking for a committed relationship right now. I, I like where things are at the moment. And you're gonna see her face and you're gonna start to think, but in the future, I might, could no, no. Dude, you gotta let it hurt. She's not, it's gonna be uncomfortable. It, it, you're not gonna enjoy the first part of this conversation if you did the wrong things to get it there, okay? If you set expectations correctly, it shouldn't have been a problem. But if you didn't and you have this talk, it's important for you to put your foot down because it's only gonna cause problems for you in the long run. And look, man, maybe she thought that something was going on and then once you tell her what your plans are and what your expectations are, maybe she'll be okay with it in the future. Like I've had talks where I didn't manage expectations correctly at the beginning and later on when I had the talk and I was honest with them, you know, they ended up still coming around and still wanting to hook up for a little bit after. You know, it, it wasn't the same, but it, it shouldn't be because she was expecting something different before and now she's not expecting anything which is where it should be you know people hopefully if you're hooking up with this girl you're seeing her or you're having sex with her like you actually like this person and care about them and, and want them to be happy and want the best thing for them and if you don't and if you don't then why are you hooking up with them you know hook up with somebody else okay so that's the important thing okay make sure that her thoughts and feelings matter make sure you tell her the truth uh, and then make sure that if it's uncomfortable whatever it is you stick to your guns and you don't back down on what you just said to try and make yourself feel better. 
she will be a little bit upset if it comes down to this and that's okay be not everyone's meant to like the answer that you give them but in the end she will respect you for it and in the end she's gonna like you more for it not more for it but she'd like you more than if you lied and sometimes they'll come around sometimes girls will actually be okay with that and they'll be like yeah let's go let's do it um, but you'll usually kind of know her reaction before you, you give the answer to this question based on the way you've been setting expectations um, before. So yeah, man, if you care about this person and hopefully you care about the girls that you're seeing, uh, I would highly recommend that you handle this talk in the right way. Because take it from me, if you piss people off, you're going to feel shitty about yourself and that's not a way, that's not a life you want to live worth, uh, that's not a life worth living. <laughs> so, um, anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Uh, if you made it, then consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program where I teach guys exactly how to handle situations like this in the right way, uh, please send me an, um, fill out the form down below. There's a link to it. Click on it and if you're a great fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.